This is Big Island Video News for Wednesday, February 5th, 2025. Episode 8 of the ongoing Kilauea summit eruption ended Tuesday evening when lava flows and fountains at the vents stopped just after 7 in the evening. Episode 8 lasted approximately 21 and a half hours. Lava flows from the episode covered more than half of the crater floor. At one point, fountains reached up to 250 feet or 80 meters high. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory also noted that at the same time the lava flows ended, summit tilt changed rapidly from deflation to inflation and seismic tremor decreased. The ongoing summit eruption began on December 23, 2024. So far, there have been eight episodes of lava fountaining, separated by pauses in activity. Episodes have lasted anywhere from 12 days to less than 24 hours. All eruptive activity is occurring in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and no unusual activity has been noted along Kilauea's east or southwest rift zones. As the activity at Kilauea demonstrates, Hawaii is an island of vast geothermal resources. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands is seeking additional funds to continue with the exploration of those resources for possible future development. First to testify, we have DHHL in support. New state legislation would appropriate $20 million to the department for the investigation, exploration, and identification of geothermal resources on Hawaiian homelands. House Bill 1307 had a public hearing on Tuesday, February 4th, in the House Committee on Energy and Environmental Protection. We're asking for about $20 million to continue the process. Hawaiian Homes Commission Chair Kali Watson was at the hearing to testify in support. We have three um, sites, uh, South Point, Kauai High, and Humaula. Uh, we've identified areas that we think might be most viable regarding uh, investigating this continuing investigation to collect geophysical data, as well as um, whether water well development is appropriate. We'd also like to hire some consultants to provide the assistance and guidance regarding uh, what is the best way to proceed. Obviously, the, the bottom line with our uh, initiative here is to generate not only alternate energy, but more importantly, funding for our program. We have over 29,000 on our wait list. The majority of our lands are on the Big Island. Uh, we do have projects in play, but again, uh, to eliminate our wait list, we're gonna need about $6 billion, so this is one a uh, potential approach to generate uh, money besides energy for the community at large. The committee voted to recommend the measure be passed. The bill will eventually need to get the approval of the Finance Committee before it can be passed by the full House. Information provided by the department reveals Humuula is the department's preferred development site, located directly next to lands leased by the Department of Defense for the Pohakaloa training area. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army's efforts to retain those lands for training were briefly discussed at a recent Senate committee hearing in Washington. Mr. Jiskel, I um, ask the following two initial questions of all nominees to come before On January 30th, during a Senate Armed Services Committee confirmation hearing, Hawaii's U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono asked President Trump's nominee for Secretary of the Army, Daniel Driscoll, about the lease situation. Mr. Driscoll, several of the uh, critical training areas that the Army uses in Hawaii are uh, leased from the state, including Pohakaloa, and the leases are set to expire in 2029. These leases are vital to ensuring military forces can uh, adequately train in the Pacific. However, the land involved also holds cultural significance to the Native Hawaiian community. How do you plan to approach these important lease renegotiations, and will you commit to uh, engaging in good faith with state officials and the community to ensure that the leases are negotiated in a way that is fair to the state, the people of Hawaii, and the military? Senator, um, uh, this is an incredibly important issue, not just in Hawaii, but in, in all the places we engage with the community and sign leases. I would absolutely commit to wanting to work with your office and then to engage with community members to ensure the Army is being its best neighbor that it can be. The Army is proposing to retain up to approximately 22,750 acres of the state-owned Pohakalo lands in order to continue with ongoing training activities. 
There has been public opposition to the proposed army land retention based on numerous environmental and cultural concerns. A second environmental impact statement for the proposal is being prepared by the Army. I want to particularly emphasize how important uh, uh, these negotiations are and how they are conducted because the military of, of late has, uh, had, um, has been criticized for what happened at Red Hill, basically involving the Navy, but as far as the community is concerned, what happens to one service is something that uh, uh, impacts all of the other services, so it is really critical that you engage with the community.